Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm at the home spot and I'm in this lovely dry suit. Ocean Rodeo was kind enough to send us a few dry suits to try out. Um, and they've been great for kiting so far. But there is still one question left on my mind, is that is, if water finds its way into the suit, am I gonna be in trouble? Will I sink? Will I be able to swim? We're gonna find out today. Luckily, I've got my rescue team ready here on shore to help me out if I need it. I've got a paddleboard and a life jacket. So yeah, and I'm also wearing my 5'3 wetsuit underneath this just in case things go really, really wrong. I'll stay warm. But yeah, let's go do this experiment. So something that we've heard online is that once a dry suit fills with water, it essentially becomes a death bag that will sink you to the bottom. You can't swim anymore. So that's what we're testing today. We are not trying to give me hypothermia. We are testing this whole death bag theory. As you can see, I unzipped my dry suit a bit. This is a simulation tear. So now I'm gonna go in the water and see what happens. Uh-oh, the rescue is uh, compromised. A little cold. Okay, swimming wise, not that much different. Really not that bad at all. I don't feel any water coming in. Oh, now my back. Oh, I feel the water now. Oh, it's getting really cold and wet. Can you imagine if it does fail though? If I was like way out there, it, it wouldn't, it won't be would fun at all. Be fun. No. I've been in here for about a couple minutes. I'm definitely feeling the water in my suit. I'm not sinking. I can swim just fine, but it's cold. I'm getting really cold. Um, yeah, water's all up my back. So let's get out and just see exactly how much water's in this suit. You can kind of hear it in the sleeves. Walking is definitely harder. <laughs> 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 that, I guess, tells you how much water's in this mess. <laughs> I don't want to wreck the dry suit. It was taking too long for the dry suit to fill with water, so as you can see, I've unzipped here. I'm gonna dunk back in the water, fill this thing up, and give swimming another go. Let's go! That's okay, you're good. Oh, it's so cold! <laughs> Wow. Actually, my hands are the worst miserable yeah. part. Yeah, yeah. My hands. Oh. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> In the name of kite surfing. Oh. <laughs> okay. oh. All right, swimming was a little bit more difficult that time, especially because my hands don't have my gloves anymore. And now. I know what it feels like to weigh 100 pounds more. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Overall, I would say that the death bag is pretty much a myth. Water does not weigh more inside the suit than it does outside of the suit. And if you burp your suit, there's really not a whole lot of space to fill up inside. I think this test has a little flaw, and that is she's wearing a white suit. Under the uh, underneath the dry suit, and that's not exactly uh, a perfect test because the uh, the wetsuit is a little bit buoyant. It actually uh, kind of gets you out of the water a little bit better, so it helps you with swimming. To be 100% perfect, we gotta lose the wetsuit, and then it gets really cold pretty fast. All right, so Nikita brought up a really good point. We're back, it's day two, and we're testing. This time I'm not wearing a wetsuit underneath. In fact, I am wearing a full onesie fleecy. Underneath that I have a rash guard and some leggings. And we're gonna retry this test again. We're gonna see if I sink or if I can swim. So we're just deciding on which zipper I should leave open. What do you think, Nikita? I think you should leave the uh, pee, pee zipper open yeah. just because um, we want to make sure that if you leave the top zipper open and you're floating, not a lot of water will be getting in through the top. <laughs> Agreed. 
So again, I'm gonna just open the zipper up just a bit and that will simulate um, a seal failure or a zipper being left open. All right, I'm gonna burp the suit and get as much air out of it as I can. So one of the main reasons why we made this video is because when we started showing up to the beach in dry suits, we were hearing a lot of mixed opinions from our fellow kiters. In our kiting group chat, there was even the term death bag being flown around, mostly because people believe that if something goes wrong, you have a broken seal or you have a tear in your dry suit, it's gonna flood with water and you're gonna sink and it could be deadly. We wanted to put this to the test and see if that was actually true or not. Obviously a dry suit like this the chances of failure are very, very small. The most common failure you're gonna see in a dry suit is a tear in the seams. This can happen around the neck, around your wrist, or around your ankles. Um, and it's most likely due to tearing when you're either putting the suit on or taking the suit off. Obviously, if you take better care of your seams, that will go a really long way in preserving your suit and preventing any kind of water entering your suit. Um, also too, if you do notice a tear, obviously you don't want to go out on the water with it and you want to get it professionally repaired. So, swimming, not very difficult. Um, I do have some water in my suit, but I didn't notice that really until I got out. Okay guys, the myth of the death bag sinking you to the bottom of the lake is just that. It is a myth and it's busted. The real danger here is the cold water and that applies obviously in a dry suit and a wetsuit. So if you're kiting in cold conditions, stay close to shore. Don't go too far out because swimming back can be actually very, very dangerous. The funny thing right now is that I'm not cold in my upper body. Where I'm cold is where the water is pooled in my suit. The water is pretty cold, but the air is quite nice. And I think the fleece that I'm wearing underneath is also helping quite a bit too. We're gonna go for a swim in the suit, but this time around no neoprene and no fleece. <laughs> and no sauna, where's the sauna? What's going on? What's All right, so now we're gonna try to make sure you have big tears in your uh, dry suit. One and two, see what happens. The question is, will I swim or will I sink? I found it's pretty tricky to swim. And uh, once it gets full of water, it's really hard to navigate through the water. Pretty hard. Once it gets a little full, get a bit of trouble. So I don't know, not comfortable to swim at all. It's, I don't think I would sink, but it does impede my motion quite a bit. It's a bit of a problem. I think wearing life jacket will, uh, will do the trick. I don't think you'll sink but you won't make it far. All right, in conclusion, the myth has been busted. The dry suit is not a death bag. You're not gonna sink to the bottom. We did a bunch of different tests. We even did one test with Nikita where he pretty much filled his suit as much as he possibly could. It did become slightly more difficult to swim. That being said, if you're wearing a life jacket, you should be fine and safe as long as you're not too far from shore and therefore getting way too cold. All right, we want to thank you so much for watching. We will be doing a full dry suit review, so make sure to subscribe for that video coming your way soon. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're silly.